Hello Scorpios! Yes, it's that time of the year or whatever, right, where I read my tarot cards and you get to listen to a fabulous story that I come up with. Either divinely inherited from the breath of the universe itself or my ass. Whatever one you choose to prefer, really. But yeah, it's time for your tarot reading for December of this current year. I won't be doing a mid-December to January, but I'm going to be doing a 2019 spread for 2019, the entire year, every month. But like, I just haven't figured out how what kind of spread I'm going to make for it yet, because I like making mostly my own. Like, I haven't worked out all the kinks, so it's going to be a minute. <clears throat> and hopefully... I'll have it done before the new year. And there will be also the regularly scheduled Thunderdomes that are never scheduled. Well, I don't know, like, I guess you could say that, like, I do my videos on the 10th and the 23rd. Those are the regulars I like to try to do. Usually on my days off, because that's the only time I have to do these. Anyway, that's enough about me. It's time about you. I guess I hope you guys celebrated your birthday happily and the retrograde wasn't too harsh on you. Crazy little scorps you. No whammies. Let's see what we're laying out for y'all. We got that guy. This guy. Ooh. Them. This guy. That lady over here. This chick over yonder. And over hither. We got the Seven of Swords. Um, someone's taking some risks right here, right? <clears throat> and... Hmm. What is this? It's someone trying to run away to a brand new beginning or go for a leap of faith into the unknown because they miscalculated a win that they one very dirtily because they're afraid of like something they're they're afraid of some truth moments some like hitting the ground of re and smacking right into reality you know <laughs> like someone's giving pretty much your true feelings and really looking inward and that's going against them because what they want to do is be a little shystikoft, but also be a loser. I don't know, that first line's just like, odd to me, right? But anyway, we got the fool right here. Usually a leap of faith or a new beginning or journey. Possibly because of a third party situation or over celebrations right here. Maybe somebody wants to begin with somebody they had a third party with. <clears throat> the three of cups. And down here, a burden is... I feel like he's done with his work, but like he's trying to get extra credit. Like, sure, he's lumbering around with it, but it's not as heavy as it is because he's upside down and shit, right? Like, the burden would be more or less carrying his weight around instead of the other way around. And that's because someone got what they wished for, and all the drama. And dirty laundry and skeletons in the closet and baggage that could come with it. I'm like, they got what they wish for. I just don't know if they're happy with it. And then we got this person who, like, might have got that white flag back there, but it wasn't like they want it in the most best. It, it's like, um, they won the battle, but they lost the war kind of vibe, you know? As in, this person was the loser. This king of cups reverse, someone who is emotionally stubborn. A lot of cups in this. Like, all of the, like, still, queen of cups, temperance reverse, possibly a really angry Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, wait, I need to look this over, right? What's going against you is... Queen of Cups and possibly no 
communication, no coming together for compromising beliefs or talking. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius in that respect. Like you could be offering how you really feel to this person. And they don't care. They're not letting up. They're doing the whole stubborn thing. Like, don't tell me what to do. You know? And and there and there are cups in this one too. So a lot of emotion in this, right, Scorps? Well, and, uh, and up here, someone wants to like. I don't know. It's almost like someone wants to take that L. They want to say, yeah, I'm the loser. I'm the loser because I was this guy who didn't care and treated you possibly like shit. Like, I feel like what this person wants here is to accept that they are the loser in a situation because of maybe something to do with behavior. Maybe somebody did something wrong. And they're taking, they're trying to take the fall, but it's like, it, 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 it's, there's still this beginning of a new journey, possibly with a third wheel situation. It's like, you being honest is not going to serve you very well. And you and whoever else this ha bitch happens to be are getting thrown out the damn tower. <laughs> now the person who's probably just figuring it out. Because, you know, this is going to also be a discovery, too. And what the fool. Like someone just happened to run into it unexpectedly. Or find out about it in some way. That, like, just shock them and automatically just turn that switch on like what am I doing here I need to get out of this you know someone's expressing that they were wrong and like them expressing it is the wrong thing to do it's like someone doesn't care someone is set in their mindset and doesn't want to compromise in all of it right right okay so we got the tower over here Someone is afraid of a moment of truth moment, like that clarity, right? Where they hit reality. And there's someone already there that hit reality, right? Oh my fucking god. Yeah. Double whammy. Both the towers, okay? Like, if I had another deck, I guarantee you, like, the tower would come out a third time. And it's like, um, your moment of truth is recognizing there's a moment of truth. Like, this is going to happen regardless. Like, someone has already hit reality. And this person is still thinking that they're falling out of the tower when they're about to hit the ground. Like, no, man. No. You're going to... Uh, this tower is coming. Things are getting broken down. New foundations are going to be get new foundations. Like, fate is definitely stepping in for you, Scorpios, because, you know... Y'all, I guess, didn't do what you were supposed to fucking do. Like, wow. Yeah, and there is no new heartfelt beginning, no new apologies, because apparently you don't know how to change your fucking ways. That's the catalyst and the final result. But if it's not you, it's someone doing it to you. Like, someone isn't willing to apologize for not changing their ways. Which leads to a double tower moment where someone realizes that they need or they needed this to happen, you know, like. Sorry, this is like my first and only cup of coffee in a few days. So it's just kind of like, ah, oh, I love it. Like, I can't drink it all the time anymore. So it's like, eh. But yeah, man, like, ooh, yeah, someone is, um, huh, what's the ending thing, I wonder, because someone is taking some risks, I mean, it's all risky behavior, honestly, <laughs> Like, it would be funny if someone got thrown out of one tower and then thrown out of another, like, realizing... 
like is that it what it is someone that has to have that um realization that like they're never going to change who they are there's not going to be a transformation there's not going to be anything anything to grow from what it's like something just is just refusing to die and that's why there's tower upon tower like one truth is just alienated by two lies kind of deal or two truths alienated by one lie because i really feel like someone might be lying to themselves like even over here someone like willing to like i feel like this person whoever this king of cups is and i don't know if they are the queen of cups as well they might be actually giving their true feelings away and someone doesn't care but it's like this person is apologizing for things that um that they shouldn't be apologizing for like you know surrendering but like for the wrong reasons almost ah, and the end yeah look at that look at that i was just talking about you hi how are you yeah so he's being emotionally stubborn with how he's viewing this hmm wow i'm getting like narc okay like narcissist like well I, I there's a difference between a narcissist and a narc a narcissist is actually someone who has the personality disorder a narc is just somebody people run into who act like narcissists but in reality they're just selfish people to an extent right a lot of youtube videos on um the site that talk about stuff like that and for me i feel like there is a lot of risks with this risky fucking behavior and now someone's trying to ham it up and apologizing for things that like they shouldn't be and maybe they are giving their true feelings but there's no compromise because look over here no one's changing no nothing's happening there's not even a ap real apology you know this person might be um just telling you whatever you want to hear to feel like they were defeated and they're admitting whatever but in truth there's no apology in this there's nothing there and like there's no change so there could be a possibility that like them not even saying i'm fucking sorry for being a piece of shit to you or anything to that ilk is the indication that death is not happening and that could be the double tower moment like you're just sitting there watching this person in a, in a position of total dissonance and looking upon it and realizing oh my god this person can't even give me the satisfaction of um just admitting it like that they were completely like, you know they're they're admitting things like they're admitting things i feel like maybe even about this situation Maybe even about this. Maybe even giving you a clue about this. Like they're admitting things, but they're not actually telling you what you need and want to hear. And that all could be hidden under the moon, the emotions. All right, play. Um, that could be a Pisces or a Cancer, since Cancer is ruled by the moon. Ooh, excuse me. Like, there might be some deception playing underneath of all of this. Yeah, there's definitely a switch up with a relationship with the lover's reverse. Could be with a Gemini right there because that's their card. Could be dealing with an energy where there's a lot of disgruntlement, as I like to say, when Geminis are annoying. <laughs> they get very disgruntled. They do a lot of like really weird <sighs> sounds too. It's kind of cute. And let's see, we have the eight of wands there's going to be swift movement when it comes to a cycle mm. okay
is the I, like I want to think the swift movement is the acknowledgement that this is like bad. <laughs> like that's what I want to say. I like want to think that um bad idea in reference to this cycle. Like it, it's not healthy. Like don't do it. Like it, like all of this up here is gonna like these two towers or the swift movement to make you realize, oh, maybe this is a bad idea. I'm not getting an apology, and this person still isn't willing to change for me. You know? That's what I'm getting. I thought that was an actual bird in my fucking house. Jesus. That's relaxing. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, like... I feel like pay attention to what your emotions tell you with this right here, because... I feel like those dogs are the ones that are sensing out that there's something out there just beyond the sun and the moon. Like they notice the face of everything or whatever. Like that like that's what I'm kinda getting with that. Like pay attention to how you emotionally feel. My dear Scorpios. If this is you or a person that's dealing with the situation around you, or you know, if this is like cross watchers or whoever is watching. <clears throat> Except for clowns, because clowns are scary. Um, pay attention to your emotions, because usually your emotions tell you things that your gut can't. Sometimes reacting emotionally is the best course, because then it gets down to the point, and you can end up knitting shit like this in the bud very well, and quickly. You have a good one, Scorpius. Bye-bye.